Hi guys, it's Katya here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're doing a slightly different video. I'm gonna be taking you through some of the planchers that are on my to-do list. I've been on a hiking trip for two days and I haven't properly tended to my plants since Wednesday, so that's roughly around a week and it's been really hot, so they're in need of watering, spraying, I gotta pack some plants and post them and then I also need to collect some more pollen from my crystallinum, so this is on my to-do list and we're doing this today because some of you have requested it. Hopefully you'll enjoy and let's get into the first test. So here are the plants that I keep in my propagation box. Usually it is semi-closed, so like this, but when I got home it was like this, so a lot of water has evaporated. And as you can see, an example, this is Monstera oblique amazonas, she's currently working on second leaf, but if you see the moss, it's bone dry, we don't want that. It's similar with other thirsty plants, just like this variegated Adansoni. She is fine, but ooh, needs to be repotted. So we're gonna spray the plants that are in moss and those that are in aerid mix. As you can see, it is also dry. There's not much condensation happening on the edges of the pot. So we're gonna water those plants as well. So I'm gonna categorize them into sections. Those that are in soil will be moved into this bin that I have here, whatever. And then they're gonna go into a bathroom. I'm gonna make some mix, a fertilizer mix. So they also get some of the plant feed because those, those boys are actively growing. Let me show you some of the roots here. Yeah, I repotted this last week and it seems to be super happy. I did end up quickly cleaning this thing just because I had a chance and the last time I've cleaned it I spilled some soil and you know me, perfectionist. Now I have my trusty spray bottle, one of the best investments you can do as a plant parent. You just pump it and then you spray the plants. I just want to show you this because I'm super excited about it. This is Anterium Carla Blackie. She was a gift and she is finally growing a new leaf right here. You can see it and she has grown a spicy root as well right here. So, oh, it's already poking out. Okay, so I'm so happy she has rehabilitated after the transport from USA. So these are all plants that are kept in moss. Now I'm gonna close the container just so they don't lose as much moisture and in the meantime I'm gonna go and water the rest of the plants. So this is what we currently have that needs to be watered but we're not done yet as we also have this greenhouse here. There are a few plants that also needs to be watered so I'm gonna gather the rest of those as well. Just showing you this beautiful anterior magnificum leaf. It has amazing lobes and it tends to grow more narrow leaves than usual magnificum. So I'm really curious to grow this one out. As you can see, it doesn't have a lot of moisture as well. A few roots here and there. I'm gonna go and transfer them to the bathroom. Way to do proper waterings for me there. Otherwise, I kind of just spray the top sometimes if I'm lazy because uh, who isn't lazy sometimes. So now we're gonna prep our fertilizer. I'm used to heavily fertilizing my plants just because they do need nutrients to grow into happy and vigorous plants. What I currently have on hand is only this picky juice. 
it's meant for flowering foliage I mean I do use it mostly for my interiors because I do want them to bloom and I do have some in bloom currently so I'm trying to supplement as much phosphorus as possible so with this thingy you're supposed to add one to three milliliters per liter I have a liter and a half bottle here and before use just shake it thoroughly There is roughly two millimeters and I use it for the whole thingy and never go full strength. I always dilute it down. Yeah, it's supposed to look this dark. Wow. Oops. And the last step is to just shake it well. We're moving to the bathroom area. Apologies for the background noise. What I like to do is to kind of water my plants in saucers or like big saucers just so the water can catch up and I can reuse it because why throw all that good fertilizer away? So all the plants have been watered and now it's time to put them back into their spaces. As you can see, it's a real Tetris of fitting stuff in here. Mind you, I used to have more stuff, but I've moved some into the other greenhouse and I've sold some, but uh, it's still pretty full and I don't know what I'm gonna do when these guys grow up because this is the optimal conditions of growing plants, like they truly do enjoy it here. That's it, first thing done. The next thing I need to do is I need to collect pollen from this crystal and taking it out is quite a thing. So a short update on the spadex. It has changed in color, like the whole thing has kind of gone more pinkish. The pollen is now throughout the whole spadex. And if you look really closely, I think, I think, don't get me wrong, but like those little bumps that are here can be sign of seeds. I don't know, I think it's still too early to tell. But um, yeah, it has a lot of pollen as you can see and we're gonna collect it. The essentials, aluminum foil and a paintbrush. So this is what we gather today. It's not much because it was kind of just from the top of the spade eggs, but it is what it is. And the last mandatory step of collecting pollen is to label it. Just because I want to keep track of the batches that I've collected as far, when they were collected, from who and how big. Okay, so these plants are the ones that I need to pack. So first package is this variegated Sony, and then the second package is... This is Florida Ghost stem cutting and as you can see they are already pushing out new growth and in the same package is also the Cebu Blue cutting which I've had for a very long time. It was a gift but it doesn't want to grow nicely with me like it grew one leaf but now the top is kind of just shriveling up so I decided it should go to a new home. And the last one is this Hoya. I think it's called Hoya Crystal and allegedly it has beautiful violet blooms, but 
I am not a Hoya person sadly and it's it hasn't been doing much like they're so slow I need slightly more faster growing plants if you know what I mean so now I'm gonna go and pack all of this up and show you the final product I guess so now to show you the end result of packaging this is the box that I chose for those three plants that I had you can see Cebu blue there is the Hoya and the ghost is under here mounted up and the second package is the variegated Adansoni we have some cartoon holding the pot of Adansoni and I've kind of puffed the leaf here just so it can travel safe have to just close the boxes and that's kind of it So I've just made it home from the post office. It's so hot outside, like sweaty spaghetti, no joke. I think this is gonna be it for the plant chores for today. I did do it like throughout the whole day. It wasn't everything in a timeline as it will be presented in the video. Anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you wanna see more of this content, please give it a like and let me know down in the comments because it's not something that I usually do. And I'm curious if you are down for more or not. Anyways, let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye!